Welcome back to DC Sember, as we continue with our list of the top 12 Superman actors. With me today is cosplayer Michael Burns and director of the movie Superman World War, Don Callahan. Now that Christmas just practically here, we can move on to our top one picks. Look out! Ah! Maybe you ladies haven't heard about me. Ben Daly, yes. I love that show. It may not be no surprise, but I would say that arguably for voiceover work, Tim was the first to really showcase different types of Superman's personality than any has done before because sometimes I feel like in past anime stuff, there wasn't that much of a difference between with Clark and Superman or how they both would deal with certain situations. But here with Daily, he really showcased like actually trying to do his job as a reporter, not just listening on anything bad happening in Metropolis so that way he can go in as Superman. Because my, one of my favorite episodes was the late Mr. Kent where he was trying to solve a case as Clark and trying to get all the proof he needed and he didn't want to go in as Superman. He wanted to be Clark's victory. And that led to, I think, my favorite line in the entire series. But I am Clark. I need to be Clark. I'd go crazy if I had to be Superman all the time. He's just trying to keep his sanity together without trying to go out as his uh, Superman himself and, you know, be the person that he is on Earth. It's he where it's all for ego. It was definitely a nice little touch that they did in the series on that episode that they give Clark a little bit more time to you know, do his own thing. He's a sucker for lost causes. Let's get some burgers. That just shows how he can be very humble, but doesn't have to be corny or anything similar to what's been done before. And much like the others that have fallen afterwards, when he wants to get serious and is ready to throw down against another villain, he will go all out if that needs to be. Plus, doing a couple different versions, like that one episode called Brave New Metropolis, as well as when near the end when he was being mind-controlled by Darkseid. I think him doing him doing his take on Bizarro, probably the funniest and one of the best portrayals of the character i ever seen. Does yeah. he do Bizarro too? Yeah, he voiced Bizarro's, and it was actually so convincing. Like, I, didn't, I couldn't tell if that was the same person, but yeah, that was him. You am no Superman. Me, I'm Superman. So now I'm ruining his day. It was also, so hilarious to say how, like, seeing the two of them being identical is that the more decomposed he started becoming, his language barrier started going. It's like, man, he's really good at that. It's like a Frankenstein, but, like, drugged or something. <laughs> if you ever cosplay with Zaro, it's really fun, because you can say anything you want, and people think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I like the fact that when he and Kevin Conroe would do crossovers together in the series, and even with the movies that came out afterwards, they really bring out the best in each other. Yeah, I can definitely tell the chemistry is definitely there. It's amazing to see that. If you were going to operate in Metropolis, you should have filled me in. Next time I'll fax my itinerary. Kevin did a great job, and he played really well with others, you know, <laughs> especially with Tim. They, they they played off each other very well. Ever so, so. Love you, Kevin. Whenever they're sharing a scene together, because and I would say for doing the Superman and Bam movies, they were definitely sharing a booth together, at least in Public Enemies from behind the scenes stuff. It's just funny how they both bicker each other and some of the nitpicks they have for each other. It's like they're brothers. <laughs> I suppose it's useless to tell you to leave. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Your funeral. I already had one. I love Public Enemy. That's my one of my favorite ones. Man. He takes Shazam's costume, and Batman takes uh, Hawkman's costume. <laughs> Someone got their ass whooped and got their clothes stolen. And I like the fact they got him involved in Just League Doom, so this way, at least for one time, Tim Daly got to voice along with most of the Just League cast. Yeah, he, he, need, he needed to come back and do some good stuff. It's a shame he never had as much exposure, take on the roles as much as Kevin Conroy or even George Newbern, but still, when he took on the role, it's definitely not something that'll be forgotten. And plus, if any of you want to see more of Tim Daly talk about Superman stuff, check out The Daily Show. When I record the voice of Superman, I am Superman. I'm kal El, son of jor raised on the planet Earth as Clark Kent. I fly. Yeah, they did like a little skit with it. It was, it was him and his, like, two other people that were voice actors playing around. Did he have a son that does it too? Yeah, usually in the segments, his son's involved. But, uh, yeah, there's one episode where he was... He got really engrossed and really felt like he was being Superman. And so it, the son called in both Nathan Fillion and Michael Rosenbaum to try to help him out of it. But they just 
<laughs> they just got in their roles and even like dressing up in hoodie pajamas of their cost of their characters. Let's fly! Hey, great. Although my favorite, I think one of their best they'd done was with, uh, I forgot the name of the club, but it was basically the Superman Club, where you where you get, you get Tim, you get Brandon, you get Dean and, and, and along with Son, all being together, pretending to be Superman. Yeah, and they like ran around the yard or something on a swing set. Oh my god, that's, yeah, yeah. That was so hilarious. To see him go back and forth. <laughs> Yeah, and even having Andrea Romano, the casting and voice director for a lot of DC anime projects at the time. Hey, how many times I gotta tell you kids? Get off of my lawn! Also, fun fact, Tim's son, Sam, got to voice Superman in the Justice League film Flashpoint Paradox. And I have to say, his vocal performance does remind me a lot of his father. But he does it in his own way. Especially when we get to the second half of the movie. Sir, are you okay? Oh! Is that Clark? This is the most powerful being on the planet? Help me. Thanks for watching, everybody, and be sure to tune in for tomorrow's episode, as we'll be going through the list one day at a time till Christmas Eve. In the meantime, check out last year's DC Summer playlist and other content on this channel. This is BD Knight, signing out.